Hi everybody, how you guys doing? So for today's video, I have pretty, well, they're interesting to me. We'll see if they're interesting to you. However, I have two topics that I would like to discuss with you guys on this video. So without further ado, let's get in it. I'll keep in mind, I'll try to find the links to put in the description of this video so you guys can read for yourself. But the first one is the short of one of the two, and I would like to start with that one. So, Z the, blah, 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 I'm about to get tongue-tied here. ZTE has two devices that has been discovered. There is a backdoor for Root. And so now this theory applies to um, a few devices out there that are ZTE devices that People are having a hard time rooting and so but basically what this root method talks about is that there is currently a backdoor on these two ZTE devices that require a hard code to actually get in and have the device rooted. If this is true, this would make rooting a whole lot easier if you are one who owns a ZTE device. And so with that, link in the description of this video so you guys could read more about it and possibly those who are developers that have been having a hard time with the ZTE device, this may actually work for you guys. And the password is given in the article. So that is a big plus. So yeah. Of the second one, it has to do with Android and viruses. There's always been argument that Android has viruses and then there's a rebuttal to Android can't have viruses based upon that Linux doesn't have any viruses on it either. The back and forth keeps happening. People start to get a little bit freaked out. Those that are familiar with Linux obviously state that there is no such thing as viruses on Linux. And then there's those who are gonna, you know, have their little rebuttals and statistics and pull out all kinds of forms and documents saying it, that Android can. But here's where it really boils down to. In theory, and this is just my opinion, but in theory, I feel the only way that any of you guys who use Android can get any type of corruption on your device, any type of file that is going to act wonky, is if you install it. It's a proven fact that most people who have had really bad issues with their Android device and quote unquote malware on their Android device was installing. <laughs> and so if you install those kinds of things, and yeah, you are destined to having some kind of issue with your device, putting that kind of stuff in there. Yeah, it, you know, there's always stuff attached to that type of stuff. There's even articles that interviewed the top three antivirus applications for Android who even gave the same, the same speech, which was basically most people are prominent to attacks when you install those kinds of apps that have those types of attachments. But other than that, no, just being connected to the internet is not enough to get your Android device any type of virus that can cause any type of corruption across your Android device. And so that boils down to the tip of the day. Be careful what you install. And if you guys think that antiviruses are worth having, use them. And you can use them in that context that when you download things or before you install an application, it will scan the application to make sure that there's no corrupted files or any type of, of malware you know being installed along with the application you will be protected one of the biggest things that these antivirus applications and you notice that the one feature that they really are big on is actually anti-theft a way to protect your device in case if it's lost or stolen so obviously it tells you right now how big of an issue viruses is on android it's not that big of a deal unless you're installing those weird. <laughs> so that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know by clicking that thumbs up. Tell me if you guys enjoyed it. And um, please share this video across all your favorite social networks. Google+, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, wherever. Share it. Let your friends know. Let your family know about it. And if you have not subscribed, please do so by clicking that subscribe button. On whatever platform you're watching it on will be located wherever my fingers are twirling. And that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for tuning in. And if you're not outside enjoying this awesome weather, you should be. It's great. Great year. Great weather. I'll see you guys next time.